Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In the previous video, I talked about how um, to do like a um, conversion from HSV to RGB using script node, using spread chalk and animation nodes. Um, not long after, actually, I, I just found out that spread chalk has an update and then we actually do have like a color in and color out node and this is really really exciting because um, we can now simply just use this node to generate um, our colors um, and I like it because we can finally use this HSV mode um, which is generally whatever uh, work you, you are working it or whether it's RGB and uh, uh, the normal workflow or HSV or HSL it will output the result in RGB and you can simply plug into like an object color or something so that's a uh, really really cool um, so I'll show you one um, of a really basic example how you can use this um, so this is spare chalk generate HSV colors um, I'll do it in such a way that's kind of um, displays the power of Sverchop. So I will start with a box, and my output is uh, will be the viewer B mesh right away. Instead of instead of the viewer node, I will use the viewer B mesh, and the output is gonna be a real object. Okay. Um, if you try to assign the material using this node, what you will get is actually a cycle node. That's a cycle node. Um, in this case, if you want to work with a Blender render, internal render, and you want to use like a uh, Blender internal materials, you just create create it first here, and then um, enable like object color because you, we want to see the color of these objects and simply use that material inside um, stretch of node 3 okay so by doing that we can control the, this object color from inside stretch of okay cool so that's the idea we have a single cube so nothing particularly interesting yet what's gonna happen next will be really interesting um, I'm gonna use the object ID set in stretch of and assign our objects and this this is going to be the parameter this is going to be the color this is the attributes of this object here bpy.data.objects name alpha zero dot color okay i'm going to reveal the outliner as well so it's clear in the 3d scenes we have this alpha one objects that's being generated inside spreadshop and for the value here if we just plug this in it will complain and it will tell you okay the dimension should contain four items not three okay that's because we didn't specify the alpha just turn on the alpha and now we have this uh, HSV mode um, working inside Spreadshop okay that's really cool um, let's see with the hue we cannot actually go more than one yet but we can use the modulo for this but what we can do next, um, let's say, if we want to give it like a, instead of um, generating a single object, maybe we want to have like a multiple objects. Um, let's do that real quick using the matrix. Uh, we just simply plug in like a, the, let's say, if we are using the vector, random vector, for example random vector and we generate five random points and just plug this into the matrix we get five objects okay really quickly it's uh, we can scale this guy so we have five objects already alpha one, zero one two three four and if you want you can generate five different um, color here so you already know in the previous uh, live noting I mentioned about it if we use like a random number generator uh, in this case we have five objects um, we want random value between 0 and 1 just plug this into the queue and we get the random color 
already. So just randomize the seed and we have this random color. So it's really cool. Uh, it's very, very easy to do this. And if we set it up properly, like um, we have five objects here and five random number for the hue. Maybe we um, like uh, specify our own like um, integer input here, maybe 10 and plug this into the total number of random vector and plug this also to the random number generator for the hue and we should get um, like a real-time generator of this uh, boxes with random color that's really really cool um, if you want the random vector to be a little bit more random like it scattering the points in 3d you can actually use random mice input vertices here so this guy making the points a bit more random okay so be careful with this number because um, I recommend you not to go over 10,000 because you are um, it depends on what you're doing um, currently we are really like generating objects and in blender more than 10,000 objects is actually generally not a good idea it's gonna slow down the 3d view it's it can be okay depending on what you're doing but it's a um, more efficient way is to use in sensor or to actually generate um, a single object with with all these um, objects as a single object so don't generate too many objects 100 objects should be fine, 1000, 10,000, don't go over, don't go too high with the value unless your computer is powerful and you have a lot of memory. But I guess that's, this is pretty much it with the, with the matrix actually you can do, instead of random vector, you can, you can use anything, you see like, um, let's say plane or a grid, this guy will generate like a grid right away. Let's say give it like 20 by 20, so we have 400 objects right away. Uh, we want 400 value as well here, and then kind of expand this guy. So that's 400 objects, okay? 400, a lot being generated on the fly. No problem at all. It's This is like so easy to do now, thanks to this uh, color in. There's also color out. Um, this is also very very interesting if you are working with an image and then you want to separate the color and then want to do some math Sprechop can do that maybe that's um, I will touch this in the future but this guy already make me like a uh, really excited you can control the saturation and also the value here let's say you can also you know instead of using it on the hue uh, maybe we ha we have the red color and you want to randomize the value you can do that easily that's amazing that's like a super cool um, and you can do anything here with the plane um, like for the transformation you know this is that just a box you can replace the box with anything maybe sphere or anything like a cylinder even cylinder Just plug this guy in plug that guy in we get cylinder with random random color generated on the fly um, currently I'm using blender render internal uh, and the material is a single material being used by all these 400 objects um, this works basically because I'm turning on this object color there is another way to approach this um, if you're using blender cycle it's gonna be a little bit different but yeah this is one way if you um, if you want to use blender to kind of explain about color um, and how you can generate it like a uh, numerically numerically uh, or if you want to use like a Python this is one way uh, you can use to to do that um, anyway this is like a um, really really cool uh, just a quick look at the color in nodes that's now available in Sprechop. You can vectorize this thing. You can use multiple numbers and just plug this in and it works right away. Um, at some point, I want to go back to the script node and kind of want to think in the in terms of like a Python. Uh, but 
like like I said, if the developer has time to make the notes, you use normally you can take this for granted and you just use it and uh, you can just generate whatever become everything becomes so easy once it, it becomes like a notes. But what's really interesting with uh, with animation notes or sphere chalk in this case, if you lo actually look into the source code that creates this uh, node color in, you can learn about Python. Okay, that's like that's the big thing. I think uh, that's definitely that something that I will do at some point. Um, yeah, I guess this is okay. Like uh, for beginners, uh, you can test this out. This is a color node example. Actually, I feel like I feel like I'm making like a documentation for this color node, and maybe at some point, um, um, stretch up develop. Uh, development needs a lot of people who generate uh, like to help making documentations and to test it out and just just give it a try this is really really simple um, let me explain once again so we have a cylinder node here and then the data vertices data and polygon data goes in there and then we provide the the matrix for the cylinder here the transformation matrix then it's auto generate uh, automatically generates all these 400 objects and then also we specify the, the color that's using the HSV mode to generate 400 colors assigning it for each one of the cylinder yeah so that's a uh, that's actually just um, that's it um, if you have any questions suggestion feedback just let me know um, I think thanks again for special developer um, Zevi to make these notes uh, this has been in development for a while I know yeah, he puts a lot of effort for this uh, I really thank him for this um, yeah um, I guess I'll see you in the next video thanks again for tuning in